Gavin Duffy Park here in Mullen Town for the Jerry's Prepared Vegetables Hurling League Final Under 16. And an unusual partnership for a Mullen Hurling Final. It's the Gales of True versus Coot Hill. Not teams that you would normally associate with being in the top of the range. But in this particular year, 2011, these are the two best teams playing in the Under 16 Hurling League in County Monaghan. The Slitter's in and the game starts. It's Ryan Rogers and Ed DeShalvey looking for early possession here. Could Hill have it? It's a long high ball searching in towards the half-back line. On it there is Kilo McLeav. Connor Trainer rather. Could Hill make it forward, move forward with the ball. Danger, early danger here for Gil Truett. It's a Could Hill Celtic team who are heading goalwards at a very fast rate. Will they get a puck on the Schlitter? That just the ball hooking its way back out the field again here. A very scrappy, untidy start to the game. But Noel Flood comes out. Noel deliver in the end. And back out we come here. And it's Adam trainer Adam going with the Schlitter on his stick. Sends it across to number seven, Connor Boyle. Connor Boyle takes the puck and sends the ball over the bar. Gil through it, taking an early lead here. There, Dylan throws the ball across. Well, it's not a throw, it's an illegal pass, but uh, ball back in the possession of Niall Rooney. Niall's in the cross. Adam Trainer, Adam, oh, that was I just at the back of the net. A goal for Gil through it. Well, certainly that was not an easy ball at all for Alex Hamilton to deal with by any means. The launch pad for the next true attack. Boyle in possession. That's a mighty puck from Boyle. In it goes. Can Dylan McGee get a flick on this one here? Can Alex Hamilton hold it? Alex Hamilton does particularly well, but I think, yes, indeed, both umpires pointing to the fact that while Bri Matthew Flood has possession, he leads it off to Adam Trainer. Adam Trainer hits the ball and it's over the bar. That was an absolutely fantastic score by Adam Trainer, coming increasingly more dominant in the game. Our Cosgrove, gallant in defence. The ball comes to Cahill McInnesby. Cahill McInnesby adds on the pressure, adds on the pain for Cattell. A little battle for possession there, and out comes the Cattell number 14 with the ball. That's Stephen McCooey. McCooey sent, and the ball is now in. Cattell, this surely is their first chance for glory in this game. And yes, indeed it is. Dermot Connolly it was that time. Got inside the true defence line. Off he went and got the ball to the back of the net. Looking for Conor Boyle. The pass went right astray. It's Shalvey in possession. Shalvey fancies a shot at this one here. Conor Trainer fancies stopping the Cotill men. And on they go forward line. There's a fantastic run here this time. And the goal again. And I think it was Faker Hughes that time who's starting to terrorise the true back line. Mere four points between both teams and we have a game on our hands here at Gavin Duffy Park. Sorry, Conor Boyle rather, Conor Boyle. The kick, the puck, and Conor with the point from 45 yards there. The way he's playing, Conor Boyle will fancy at having another pop at this one here. And why wouldn't he, having scored so much already and having the ability to knock the ball over once more. An assault on goal. And this time it's high. Coming for it was Johnny McKenna. Johnny knocks it round. The ball goes back to Shelby. Shelby takes the shot and it's the first point of the game for the Cotill men. It's going in all directions there, but it's Conor Boyle is the man who gets the ball on the stick. He takes his shot, and it's to the back of the net. <coughs> and uh, they will bring an eight-point lead with them to the dressing room. All 26 lads on the field of play. Good Hill's task is to keep control. Blocking the ball, sends it back out to Oren O'Reilly. Nice little partnership developed at this stage between Shelby and O'Reilly as Dermot Conley is back in possession. 
And the ball is sent over the bar, a fantastic point. Baker Hughes was dispossessed of the ball that time from Adam Trainer sent over the bar to reply to that equally good Curtill point earlier on, but Adam Trainer again knocking the ball over. Back ball out to Shelby. Shelby looking for keeping Carney. Carney's ball is hand, it's going to be high. Searching one, and it's over the bar. It this time from keeping Carney. Scores coming fast and furious here at Gavin Duffy Park. Three goals and seven points it is to get through at two goals and three to Curtill. But ultimately it's Connor Boyle who breaks loose. Boyle running goalwards. Can he get a slitter on this one here? Oh he can and Hamilton. Fantastic save by Alex Hamilton. And well if Christopher McEnany has been doing it for true, Alex Hamilton has time and time again kept Coothill in this game. A great save that time by the Coothill goalkeeper. Flights of the first half here. Three goals and seven, two goals and three. The score make that three goals and eight to two goals and three. Connor Boyle again adding on two goals and five for him in this game. Boyle shot certainly got height as well to the right on this occasion. It's all to play for as breaks down. And the kick ball sends it over the bar, I think. Sending Shelby in as a potent threat under this ball. Which Keeving Kearney will launch towards two goals. Keeving sends in a massive puck and sends it right over the bar from 45 metres. With the sticks, last at Silverware. They're close on this occasion. The ball is back with the good hill men. It's with Shelby. Such a dangerous player. Such an effective player. Getting on to Kearney's um, 65 in there. Taking the ball and knocking it over the bar. The ball. It's a case of any man that pulls on it here will assist the thing. And the ball is sent goalward. <laughs> Didn't quite catch who was the. I think it was Conley again who got onto that there. Instead of keeping Kearney. That certainly changes things around. There are only four points between the teams now. Three goals and nine to two. Three goals and five to Curhill. It's grandstand finish. Crowd up. They're all shouting. We've all been on the true goal over the past ten minutes. Can he send a long ball in to his forward line to alleviate the pressure? It's long. The game is over. And the under-16 county champions of 2011... And for the first time, it is Gail Truha, led by Cahan McAnespe. A fantastic sporting final in which the Coot Hill men left it all on the field. They really did come in with a superb second half, competed to the very end, but ultimately it was the True men on a scoreline of 3-9 to 3-5 who take the honours.